Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I know exactly what is in uh, both of these boxes actually because I've already been inside of them. These came in on a Saturday. I don't record on a Saturday. I got curious and opened them up, but I still wanna share with you guys my first impressions. Thanks so much to Sencut, obviously, who uh, sent these in for me to take a look at. If you guys don't know, Sencut is part of the We Civivi group, so under the We Knives umbrella. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. There'll be a link for Patreon down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So, I think these are available. By the time you guys are watching this, I think this is available. So I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out. This is the Sencut... <sighs> Sakshi, sa Saxi, Sax, I'm not really sure exactly how to say that. I'm sure that somebody will look it up on Google and let everybody know what the pronunciation is right down below. Um, these are uh, these are button locks. Let's see what we've got here in the first one. I can't remember which is which. Yeah, here we go. So we have black micarta. Yeah, it's a button lock. Oh, yes. I, uh, I've been playing. It's actually the other one. This one has not been opened up completely yet. Um, but I've been, uh, I've been playing around with these and, uh, yeah, these are magnificent, uh, magnificent. It's also an incredibly, incredibly generic knife profile. So I'm sure that it looks like, uh, enter whatever, right? There are a million knives that have this exact same profile. So if it looks like it's copying something, it's copying something that is copying like a thousand other generic, you know, profile knife. Like it's just, it's, it's too generic to be a copy of anything is what I'm saying. So that's not really a problem. Uh, it also looks like many of the Sabibi knives in their current line. So they're, they're certainly welcome to copy themselves. Um, this is 9CR18 MOV. Um, and I'll tell you why. Number one, that doesn't bother me because I like 9CR18 MOV. Um, but the, uh, the main reason that that does not bother me, um, is the, uh, the price. So what we're used to seeing in uh, budget button lock knives right now is like $65 is a really good price. Uh, Kaiser has a few that are, I really like this G10 one. So these are obviously gonna come in G10 and Micarta at least. So we're seeing these generally between about 65 and about, and I'm, when I say, I say budget button locks, it's just lower priced button locks than the Malibu, up to, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, maybe a little bit more in some cases. I think the Cormorant's a little more. These guys are $45, making them the least expensive quality button lock knives that I have ever handled. 45 bucks. Yeah, full size knife, excellent action. This is indistinguishable from anything that I felt or handled from Wii knives, or I'm sorry, not Wii, Civivi knives. Uh, nice blade, pro, uh, blade profile, nice thin blade stock. I'll give you guys an example. It's just, I haven't cut with it yet, but I can tell. Those edges are quite thin. Yeah, it's effortless. Super thin. Very cool. Um, so yeah, nice thin edge, reasonable materials, definitely, especially considering the price and very easy to manipulate. I'll tell you the one thing that bothers me, and you can probably guess, is that they, uh, they're still using this clip. This is like their favorite clip in the whole world. And you know, it's like I've always said, it's kind of a B minus of a clip. It's slightly bothersome because of the bill. It's not the it's far from the most amazing pocket clip I've ever seen, but it certainly works and it's really hard to complain about it on, you know, this inexpensive of a knife. The more that I play with this, the more I look at it, like I, I appreciate that it does have a flipper tab. I'm just wondering like, would it be better if they just didn't put that flipper tab on there and just continued the curvature of the sharpening toil like into this area right here, making it just a tiny choke up position. I don't know. You're not really that far from the cutting edge, like right here. If you're gonna cut straight down, you're maybe, what is that, two thirds of an inch, something like that, it's not bad. Uh, the ramp, definitely much appreciated. Really wish it wasn't, you know, you probably have a choice between satin and, in fact, you know what? I actually have a little piece of paper right here that shows the different variants. So here we go. We have sax, 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 socks. I'm not really sure. Black with green, uh, black with satin, coyote with satin, or natural. Is it the same on both of these papers? Let's take a look. There's one with each. 
Hold on, hold on. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's the exact same. I don't know why they sent me two of these. Maybe they sent them with every single one. In any case, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the... I kind of like this one, the, the Jade one better. Uh, as for usual, the nice T8 hardware, a couple of standoffs, and a nice, just a lanyard pin, right? Really nice. Glad that they're doing that. Um, as it is right now, I, at some point, I am going to do a best, you know, budget button lock video because now there are so many. Senkut, Civivi, Kaiser, at least maybe Kubi does some. I don't know if QSP does some, but I'm going to get as many in my hands as possible so that I can do a video. Uh, best of the best, maybe a top five or top 10 for budget or at least reason like lower price button lock knives. Um, it's not just that there are lots of competitors out there. There's lots of quality competition uh, in the button lock you know, territory of the knife world. We went for a long time with the ProTech Malibu being the single most desirable button lock. Um, and it was expensive, and it was uh, all pretty much sold out immediately, right? Uh, those are made in the USA and CPM 20 CV, so understandably more money, but now they're really expensive, right? So getting something that is on this level, and yes, these are made in China. Some people have reservations about that, and some people don't. You make up your own decisions. I'm not going to tell you what to think, right? Um, but uh, you're definitely going to see this stuff here. I'm definitely going to report on it, right? Um, so $45 for a high quality Chinese button lock that is using pretty good materials, right? Nothing crazy going on here. We're not nested with the liners. They are milled out though. We should go ahead and measure just to give people a good you know, indication on what size. So overall length of the sacks, see, <laughs> sacks, 7.75 inches with a three and a half. Oh, very nice. Three, three and a half inches of blade. 3.4, 3.35, 3.4 inches of cutting edge. Very nice. Weight, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. The weight on these guys coming in at, oh, right on the money, 3.5. Nice balance there. I don't know why this one's more. What? Why? Okay, anywhere from 3.5 to 3.85. Is G10 heavier than Micarta? I didn't know that. Um, size comparisons, I'll do a couple real quick here. We'll do pair of three. There we go. We'll do bug out. This guy's definitely a little bigger than the bug out. Uh, that's the one that people always say. It's a copy of the bug out. The bug out is a copy of freaking everything. Stop saying that. Uh, here it is up against the Ritter Hogue. The Ritter Hogue's definitely a little bit bigger, right? And how about like the rat? Do the rat one and the rat two. This will be, all of this will still be in the full review, but it's nice, you know, with the first impressions, it's nice for some people to kind of get an idea. Very good. Definitely the best ratio of cost and quality that I have seen for a button lock. We are truly in budget territory. I mean, not just by my standards, but by the vast majority. Uh, the standard for a budget knife is I think most people consider it under 50. This is truly, it's 45 bucks. Really hard to argue just on first impressions. It'll probably be a pretty, whoops, don't throw your knives. It'll probably be a pretty straightforward, simple review. But yeah, first impressions on this guy, pretty awesome. Nice move, Zen Cut. Okay, that's going to be pretty much it for the unboxing and first impressions. Like I said, I think these are available. Uh, so I'll link information right down below. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have... Lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.